Now, look, I, I want to talk to you about something, OK? Because when I, when I took this job five and a half years ago, I, I thought my job would be to, you know, to entertain people, do a little dance, <laughs> sing a little song, tell a few jokes, throw a sketch in every now and then, maybe, maybe drive around in a car and sing with some people. Nobody told me I would have to spend a week of my life every four years watching the Republican National Convention. <laughs> and if I'm honest, it would have changed things. <laughs> Did you see it last night, Reg? Did you happen to catch it? I, I try, but it's just, I, it's too hard to watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right. It was, <laughs> it was quite the night. The, the setting for the whole thing was very patriotic. Take a look at this. I think, I think the theme was... <laughs> I think the theme was flag. <laughs> I know they said some sketchy things, but look, if they've got that many flags, they must care about America. <laughs> uh, now, if you caught it yesterday, the day began with a roll call vote, and things did not get off to the smoothest start. Take a look at the Ohio delegate casting his state's votes. I am Bob Paducic, son of Anthony and Judy Paducic, and I cast Ohio's 82 votes for Donald John President. Whoa! Wow. Dear. I'm sure no one noticed. His parents heard about it, were like, well, at least no one knows he's our son. Wait, he did what now? <laughs> Donald John President. I can actually see Trump going, I like it. I'm going to change my name to Donald President. Then I'll be president forever. I mean, bless him. I felt, look how nervous he is. Look, you can, you can tell from even the first second the camera comes to him, he's like, I think, I think I'm about to say Donald John President, aren't I? <laughs> I'm going to say it. I'm about to do it. I'm so screwed. Here it comes. Oh, there it is. I just said Donald John President on live television. <laughs> but things really ramped up once the speakers took to the stage. People at home were especially taken aback by Donald Trump Jr.'s girlfriend, Kimberly Guilfoyle, whose speech was, shall we say, intense. Ladies and gentlemen, leaders and fighters for freedom and liberty and the American dream, the best is yet to come. <laughs> What? Now, Why? in her defense, she's completely unhinged. <laughs> After her speech, the hashtag Gilfoyle Challenge popped up on Twitter. Now, what's the Gilfoyle Challenge, you say? <laughs> Basically, it's this. Ladies and gentlemen, leaders and fighters of the American dream, the best is yet to come! <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. There's a bunch of them. Here's a sample. Hey, Mags. Ladies and gentlemen, leaders and fighters of the American dream, the best is yet to come. <laughs> so that's the Guilfoyle challenge, although the real Guilfoyle challenge is trying to date Donald Trump Jr and still preserve a shred of your dignity. <laughs> Speaking of Donald Jr., he had a viral speech of his own last night. He did a speech, and after he took to the stage, a single word started trending on Twitter. <laughs> and that word was cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Always the telltale sign of completely nailing a speech. <laughs> Donald, you're trending. Am I really? In a way, yeah. Uh, it makes more sense if you see Donald Jr.'s face close up. Look at his eyes. He looks like an extra from the Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> I don't know if the whole trending of that was fair. If anyone was on drugs at the convention yesterday, it was this guy. <laughs> but Donald Jr. obviously had to take a swipe at his father's opponent, and he did not disappoint. Have a look. Trump's policies have been like rocket fuel to the economy and especially to the middle class. Biden has promised to take that money back out of your pocket and keep it in the swamp. What? That makes sense, though, considering Joe Biden is basically the Loch Ness Monster of the swamp. What? Did it make sense? <laughs> 
Now, I would like to clear this up as a British person. The Loch Ness Monster doesn't live in a swamp. She lives in a pristine Scottish lake called Loch Ness. It's, it's kind of right there in the name. <laughs> I get it. But the insult, the, the insult didn't actually bother Joe Biden. He's leaning into it. Did you see the bumper sticker he came out with today? Ness, we can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slow burn. It's a slow burn. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. <laughs> also, look at Donald Trump Jr. again. Look at this. This is what I was watching this last night. Do you think it looks like the beard was there first and then the beard grew a face? <laughs> Spend some time thinking that you now I've said it. <laughs> now I've said it, you'll see it. Yeah. Now, this is true. The Republicans had promised that their convention would be positive and uplifting. Did they deliver on that promise? Take a look for yourself and see if this lifts your spirits. They want to destroy this country. Goodbye, manufacturing jobs. They want to steal your liberty. Crime, violence, and mob rule. When we dial 911, we don't want it going to voicemail. The American way of life is being dismantled by a group of bitter, deceitful, vengeful activists who have never built anything in their lives. It's a horror film, really. Don't let them step on you. Don't let them destroy your families, your lives, and your future. They'll disarm you, empty the prisons, lock you in your home, and invite MS-13 to live next door. No matter where you live. Your family will not be safe in the radical Democrats' America. Don't let them kill future generations because they told you and brainwashed you and fed you lies that you weren't good enough. And while they're doing all this, they're also trying to take away your guns. The best is yet to come! <laughs> it's good that we can laugh about it, isn't it? <laughs>